What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. Today we're talking Week 17 game preview, Cardinals-Rams. Over-under in this one is 45. And right now the Rams are still favored to win by 5, although I'm not fully sure why. Uh, Rams don't have anything to play for. I wouldn't be surprised if they bench some of their starters in this one. They haven't said anything to indicate it yet, so I'm still going forward as if they'll play, but they'll probably get benched at some point in this game. So it's just another one of those games where I'm trying to avoid players if I can, uh, but we'll look at them anyway. Um, I think Kyler Murray is someone that you can play in this one, not trusting Jared Goff. Kenya Drake, you have to play at this point. He's just been playing lights out, one of the best running backs over the past couple weeks. Uh, Todd Gurley has also been great, but I think his touches get severely limited in this one. They were barely giving him the ball to start the year, so there's definitely no reason for them to risk injury now in Week 17. Um, I think you can still trust Robert Woods. I'd play him and Christian Kirk here, but I'm not playing Cooper Cup, Brandon Cooks, Larry Fitzgerald, or Jameer Bird. Uh, Ty Tyler Higby has just been so good. Uh, it's hard to not play him. Even if he's playing with a second string quarterback, I think he ends up getting a lot of targets. So I'll play Tyler Higby. Uh, I'm not playing Charles Clay. And just because of the uncertainty, I don't really want to play either defense in this game. So uh, pretty much already broke it down for you, but we'll go a little bit more detailed. Cardinals, uh, I think Kyler Murray should be, end up playing this week. I know he's recovering from the injury that caused him to uh, miss the most of the second half last week against the Seahawks, but I think that uh, Murray tries to end the season on a good note. So if you have him, I think you can trust him. Uh, Kenny Drake has just been playing so good past couple weeks, six touchdowns in the last two weeks. So even if he only gets you one for this week, he's been looking tremendous on the ground. So I think you can start him with confidence. Uh, Christian Kirk definitely let us down last week, but I think you have to have faith not really trusting any other options in this game. If Kyler Murray has a good game, then that means most likely Christian Kirk did as well. Uh, not playing Charles Clay here, and their defense might be a decent play, especially if the Rams bench a lot of their starters, but until we know that for sure, I don't want to play the Cardinals defense here. Uh, on the Rams side, I fully expect them to rest off at some point in this game, so I'm trying to avoid them if I can. Uh, same thing for Gurley. I think he'll get a low amount of carries. I don't want to get cute and start Malcolm, or Malcolm Brown either, so just avoid as many of these options as you can. Robert Woods has been playing so well that even if he only plays a half, he'll probably still have a pretty good game for you. Uh, but I don't really want to trust Cooper Cup or Brandon Cooks right now. Uh, same thing with Robert Woods with Tyler Higby, even if he only plays a half or three quarters. I think he'll end up getting enough done for you that it was worth a start. Uh, but really not wanting to start either defense in this game because it's pretty unknown at this point to me how this game is going to go out. Anyway, hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, if you have any other specific questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. I'll get back to you. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys had a fantastic year. We'll see you next year for a 2020 offseason. Happy New Year to you, and we'll take care. See you in the next video.